I bought this old rubber mallet at a sale. It was all rusted up and I brought it back to life. This here head is hard for the most part, but I want to show you how I take an old rubber mallet and bring it back to life. Yeah, we live in a throwaway world and trying to revive things like this, it's, you just throw it away and get a new one. I get it. When you're my age, there's times where you probably, or when I didn't have the money to do that, so I tried to figure out how I could get things and bring them back to life without throwing them away. Take, for instance, this old Craftsman hammer here. I was able to clean it up a little bit, bring this back to life right here, and then also this rubber end. And I'm going to show you how I do that. Not only did I do it with this Craftsman, but I did it with this hammer. And now I'm going to show you how I do it with this hammer. This rubber here mallet is hard, it, uh, and it needs brought back to life. And I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. Follow along. First thing I do in salvaging an old hammer like this is I'll clamp it in my vise, just like that, and I'll get a sawzall. And what I'm going to do is just trim the end of this off just a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect, but let me show you, get started here, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. But I just take a little bit off of that, and a good blade, a good blade and a saw, so I'll even on a rubber will cut it. So let's get her cut. There, you can see that that's not perfect, but I got that cut and I can already tell that that's a lot more pliable. As you can see the saw marks on this, I got back to some pretty decent rubber. Kind of hard to see because it doesn't want to focus there, but you get the idea of what I'm trying to say. Now I'll show you the second step I do. As far as the unevenness, you can see that that's not quite flat. Well, that doesn't matter. Because what I do next is I take that and I finish this off on this wire wheel, just like this. And what you find out is once you get that hard layer off, that that layer underneath cuts really easy with just a wire wheel like this and straightening it up pretty good it's not perfect you can take a lot more time or a lot less if you want you might even be able to get it down to where you want it just by using the wire wheel once I get that flattened off like that I take and I kind of smooth the edges. I don't put a lot of pressure on it because it doesn't take much to, to chamfer that edge. Oops! There you have it. That end is pretty much done. If I hit now on that, that's got a lot more cushion than what it did. Now if I really want to go to the extent of it or make it look a lot better, which I'm not going to, you can actually take that wire brush and do this business to it also. And what that does is it just refreshes the old scuffed up rubber and just makes it look new. Now, sometimes some of these have metal handles on it, and I've been known to take this brush over that handle just to smooth it up a little bit. Doesn't matter if it's wood or, or metal. You can't put a lot of pressure on, but you can see how that cleaned that up right there, too. So you can take an old hard rubber mallet and turn it into something very useful again. 
without too much effort. I can hear a lot of you saying it right now. It says, why would you spend time on revitalizing an old rubber hammer when you can go into the hardware and buy a new one for practically nothing? And that's a valid point, it really is. But for me, and the time period I grew in, up in, we didn't have a lot of throwaway stuff. We had stuff that would required repair. And that's what we did. We repaired stuff, we tried to make it useful, last as long as it could, just to save a couple of dollars. Are there any projects that you worked on where you salvaged something old? Share with me your tips and tricks. If you have them, I'd love to hear about it. If you like what I bring to you, please subscribe to my channel. If you like the uh, video on this hammer and how I saved it, I suggest that you watch this video right here where I took an old utility knife and sharpened a blade for reuse and extremely sharp. That's how we used to use, do it in a day. We would resharpen our utility knives instead of just throwing the blade away and getting a new one. So if you want to see that video, watch it right here. Can it be fixed? Sure it can. Can you fix it? You're darn right you can. Until the next one.